Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Shiva here who's recently got into Tata Digital as a full-time employee and he's here to share his interview experience with us. Tata Digital is also a super dream company in VIT which means the salary is above 10 lakhs. And one more thing I would like to clarify before we look at the eligibility criteria is that Tata Digital is completely different from TCS. Uh, it is a completely separate uh, company if we can say. It is uh, by Tata of course but it's there's a completely separate. Now looking at the eligibility criteria, CSE, IT and circuit branch students were eligible with a 70% or 7 CGPA in 10th and 12th as well as in the pursuing degree and with no standing arrears. Now let's go and talk to Shiva. Hi Shiva, welcome to my channel. So, Hi. firstly congratulations on your placement. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Shiva and I'm like, uh, fourth year BTEC. Hey. Right, okay. Okay. So now um, you can tell us about your about the placement process. How many rounds are there, and what they comprised of? Right. Okay. So the placement process was really short, to be honest. Okay. Uh, so uh, first day they came, and uh, it was like we had to write an exam as usual. We yeah. have the entrance exam. Hmm. Uh, the entrance exam was simple. Like uh, we had a few coding and a few MCQ type questions as usual. Okay. It was basic, uh, and it was really easy to be honest. Okay. Uh, so it was like first day evening. Hmm. So and the next day morning we started. They started the interview process. Okay. So that was like really fast uh, hmm. compared to other places. Uh, mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So the, the same day night we got the mail uh, saying that these are the people who were selected. Okay. And the next day morning uh, they started at nine. They started the interviews. Okay. So first round of the interviews was uh, like usual technical interviews. Hmm. Uh, so here in uh, they were like. Uh, most interested in our projects and stuff. Okay. So they went. Uh, they went through our CV, CVs hmm. and resumes, and they were interested more about the projects that we had to offer. Okay. Uh, so and that uh, I think that is a part of uh, criteria that they use hmm. for selection process itself. Okay. So so what they asked is uh, initially they uh, I asked uh, about myself and hmm. uh, the basic questions were there, hmm. and after that uh, they were more interested in the projects that we did. Uh, they wanted me to explain two or three projects that I did. Okay. Did. Hmm. Uh, and later on, uh, we went on, uh, they asked a few questions in each and every project that I described. Hmm. So one was in machine learning and the other one was in, uh, so uh, they also asked why my projects were in different domains. Okay. Okay. So th those type of things were happening. Hmm. And uh, th this was a major part of the interview. Uh, the interview went around for 45 minutes. Hmm. And the first five minutes for the introduction part. Hmm. Uh, then the 20 minutes were like, whole of projects and stuff. Okay. And then we they, we had a uh, questioning session like uh, they had questioning mm. for around mm. five ten minutes again. Mm. And then uh, rest of the time was like uh, so it uh, it was like concept based questions. Okay. Uh, so they uh, they asked me to explain some random concept in C. Mm. Uh, or uh, they also wanted me to explain what is uh, the basic five concepts in C plus mm. plus. So those type of questions were given. Okay. And uh, so I made sure that uh, I wanted, mm. I knew what they wanted, and then uh, okay. gave that. Yeah. That. And okay. this was more much about uh, the process. There were three people in the interview panel at that time. Mm. So all all these three people were technical first. Okay. Okay. So they had uh, usually they had around five years experience in mm. uh, the domains. Okay. So that was it. That was a basic uh, first interview. Mm. Uh, and uh, this, I was the first set of batch uh, for the interview process. Mm. So. At uh, two or three, I got a call uh, saying uh, I have an exit interview. Okay. Uh, okay. Apparently, I missed the call. I I slept <laughs> because I didn't think they will uh, call so soon. Uh, uh. Uh, so, but then, uh, so yeah, uh, I got uh, when I woke up and saw the call and called back. They were like, okay, fine. Uh, they they had no objection and they assigned a interviewer right away. Hmm. And I was able to attend the interview at five. Okay. So it was a short interview, uh, the second one. Mm. Uh, it was supposed to be a management inter management sort of mm. interview, but mm. uh, it was more of a uh, how do you say a software development kind of interview. Okay. Mm. Uh, so initially he was asking about the management side of things. Mm. Uh, so how, how do you like to uh, why would you like to be here and mm. things mm. like that? Mm. Uh, and uh, tell me about yourself and uh, the 
same type of question. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, I cannot go not through my CV uh, at the time, so those type of things were there. Okay. And then the uh, next uh, few things were like software development, life cycle type of mm. questions. Mm. So we, uh, he asked about the agile process, mm. uh, the development uh, cycle, how you do it, mm. what is an update, and what is a uh, patch. Mm. All those things, all the trivial details were asked. Okay. Uh, the first. Uh, Uh, to be honest, first interview I was able to answer every one of the questions mm. because I was really, I was really comfortable with the technicals. Mm. And mm. but the life cycle process was like uh, tough a bit, uh, not tough. But it's uh, we are not exposed to that. Yeah, of yeah. So it was. Uh, I felt it was very really different. Mm. And uh, my answers were like, uh, so this is what I think mm. will be like. Mm. Uh, I I didn't give any concrete answers. I, I was not in a position to give any concrete mm. answers. I I had uh, I had no such. Okay. So I told him that uh, I have no such experience, mm. and then uh, I said uh, said that uh, this is what I think this mm. can be, mm. and he corrected or uh, explained it better to me at the time. Mm. So that was more about the process of the second interview. Okay. And uh, later on, he was like, uh, "I hope to see you back." I think, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's it. Uh, that was the whole process. Uh, the next day morning, we got the Result. results. Okay. Yeah. It was short, really short. Mm. Uh, I've never seen any company like complete all the interview process in three days. <laughs> yeah, like so immediately they were giving the results, and the next round they were just. Yeah, yeah, direct. <coughs> uh, and I uh, for the second set of people, I think the interviews went till uh, ten at night, ten and oh, eleven okay. at night. Okay. Mm. Uh, they were informed earlier, like uh, at yeah. uh, five thirty, sir, they got they got their information that uh, it may take a, a mm. little longer. Mm. But yeah, uh, they wanted to finish it yeah, soon. Yeah. yeah. They okay. made Okay, okay. Right. That's great. Uh, congrats Thanks. again. Thanks. And so, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Tata Digital specifically? Uh, yeah. So, if you are planning to get into Tata Digital, uh, I think it will be uh, good if you are proficient in Java. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, I saw uh, after getting into it, uh, we had an exam to like split up into uh, split up into domains. Hmm. So every one of the domain is hmm. Java related. Okay. So even if you are a, a mobile app developer in say like a Flutter or hmm. a Angular developer, hmm. you uh, in their framework it's all about Java. Hmm. So everything that they do is based on Java. So that will be a really useful thing. Okay. And uh, uh, if you have any idea about the software development process, that could really help. Okay. Okay. So be confident with your projects as such. Hmm. Uh, be uh, have a variety of projects at your disposal because uh, they see at how the variety is. So they want uh, they, 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 uh, so Tata Digital is actually a startup right now. Yeah. Mm. So Tata Digital is not like the TCS. Mm. It's a different thing. Yeah. So it's a startup. They want a lot of uh, variety in them. Mm. In their like they want people who can do anything. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Mm. So uh, the, uh, what they already have is experienced people. Mm. So they want new people who can. Uh, Fit into any role that mm. they uh, throw at us. Okay. So be wary with your things and uh, know know about your projects. Mm. I mean, uh, if you are stating a project, you have to know it in and out. Uh, they have their experts and they can question on you. Uh, mm. every, question everything on you. Okay. Okay. So that is one thing you will have to look at. <clears throat> okay. Right. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and yeah, coming here and sharing your. Yeah. It was a pleasure.